Hello and welcome. You're looking at the right front corner of the L322 Range Rover. So today we're going to talk briefly about how to depressurize the two front or left to the right one of the front air springs on the L322 Range Rover. In order to do any maintenance on the air spring itself you're going to need to depressurize the air spring bag. And uh, while you can do this electronically um, through the diagnostic communications port, sometimes it's easier to do it uh, manually, physically uh, perform the operation. Now, right here, behind this plastic wheel well, is a cross-link valve. And this cross-link valve uh, is basically uh, allows the two air springs to be connected to be one contiguous airspace and be cross-linked. But the point is, is you can gain access to uh, the air spring uh, pipings and fittings right behind this plastic wheel well and depressurize in a very controlled fashion, depressurize the air spring. So we're going to start by removing some of the bolts. Actually, underneath here, this wheel well wraps around and we can undo some of these bolts. And we're not going to remove the whole wheel well. We're just going to kind of pry it open and then loosen up some of the fittings and let the air out. So starting under the right wheel well corner here, as we showed you before, this is the shot underneath the wheel well where it wraps around and the rear of the car is down that way. We're going to take a uh, eight millimeter socket and begin removing some of these bolts. There are not too many of, of these, well, screw bolts. Uh, all in all, there's probably about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five we're going to remove. Not very difficult. We'll just pull these off so that we can gain access to what's behind this plastic wheel well. All right, so with these bolts removed, we can begin to just pull this pan a little bit forward and towards the engine. You need to free it up off of some of these brackets back here. And there we go. So now I'm going to move the camera and show you what we're going to be looking at, which is right here. So here we are, we're looking at the cross-link valve, and again it's a valve that connects the front left and front right air springs together, you know, in an off-road uh, situation so that it's a continuous airspace. But for our purposes here, we want to this is nice because we have access to the front left and front right air lines. So this line that goes up vertically is the front right air spring, the side we're working on. And this pipe right here that goes seems to go backwards actually goes routed back around to the left air spring. So in order to depressurize the system, it's very, very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take our 12 millimeter wrench and we're just going to crack this line about a half to maybe three quarters of a turn open. You're going to hear air come out. And when you hear air come out, it's a good time just to stop. Okay, you just wait, walk away, come back five minutes later when it's completely depressurized. You want this air to come out in a slow, you know, controlled fashion. You do not, under any circumstances, want to keep unscrewing this until it rockets off like a bullet. <laughs> That's the last thing you want. You want it just to crack it, and when you start hearing air come out, then just walk away and let it, let it finish by itself. Come back in ten minutes, and when it's all depressurized, and you want to just close it back up. Make sure these are nice and snug. Don't over tighten them, but you want to make sure that they're nice and snug and not going to leak anymore. And that's that. Uh, when you do this, make sure that um, everything underneath the car is removed because it's going to depressurize and lower the car down towards the ground. What I do is I put jack stands underneath the frame members so that uh, and the, the weight of the car is already resting on those jack stands. And then you simply allow the vehicle to lower down and depressurize, tighten everything back up, and you're done.